For every complex problem, there is an answer that is clear, simple, and wrong. Every normal man must be tempted, at times, to spit on his hands, hoist the black flag, and begin slitting throats. On some great and glorious day, the plain folks of the land will reach their heart's desire at last, and the White House will be adorned by a downright moron. The urge to save humanity is almost always a false front for the urge to rule. I believe that it is better to tell the truth than a lie. I believe it is better to be free than to be a slave. And I believe it is better to know than to be ignorant. Nobody ever went broke underestimating the taste of the American public. A newspaper is a device for making the ignorant more ignorant and the crazy crazier. Every election is a sort of advance auction sale of stolen goods. There is always an easy solution to every problem neat, plausible, and wrong. Bachelors know more about women than married men. If they didn't, they'd be married too. Puritanism, the haunting fear that someone, somewhere, may be happy. It is hard to believe that a man is telling the truth when you know that you would lie if you were in his place. Most people want security in this world, not liberty. Love is the triumph of imagination over intelligence. God is a comedian, playing to an audience too afraid to laugh. We are here and it is now. Further than that, all human knowledge is moonshine. It doesn't take a majority to make a rebellion. It takes only a few determined leaders and a sound cause. In war, the heroes always outnumber the soldiers ten to one. A judge is a law student who marks his own examination papers. I hate all sports as rapidly as a person who likes sports hates common sense. Marriage is a wonderful institution, but who would want to live in an institution? Say what you will about the Ten Commandments you must always come back to the pleasant fact that there are only 10 of them. Immorality, the morality of those who are having a better time. The most costly of all follies is to believe passionately in the palpably not true. It is the chief occupation of mankind. All men are frauds. The only difference between them is that some admit it. I myself deny it. Legend, I lied that has attained the dignity of age. Democracy is also a form of worship. It is the worship of jackals by jackasses. A man may be a fool and not know it, but not if he is married. Democracy is the theory that the common people know what they want and deserve to get it good and hard. Love is like war, easy to begin but very hard to stop. The older I grow, the more I distrust the familiar doctrine that age brings wisdom. If after I depart this veil, you ever remember me and have thought to please my ghost, forgive some sinner, and wink your eye at some homely girl. Honor is simply the morality of superior men. Democracy is the art and science of running the circus from the monkey cage. In this world of scene and sorrow there is always something to be thankful for. 
As for me, I rejoice that I am not a Republican. Democracy is a pathetic belief in the collective wisdom of individual ignorance. We must respect the other fellow's religion, but only in the sense and to the extent that we respect his theory that his wife is beautiful and his children smart. Love is the delusion that one woman differs from another. An idealist is one who, on noticing that roses smell better than a cabbage, concludes that it will also make better soup. If a politician found he had cannibals among his constituents, he would promise them missionaries for dinner. Every decent man is ashamed of the government he lives under. We must be willing to pay a price for freedom. Life is a constant oscillation between the sharp horns of dilemmas. The worst government is often the most moral. One composed of cynics is often very tolerant and humane. But when fanatics are on top, there is no limit to oppression. The basic fact about human existence is not that it is a tragedy, but that it is a bore. It is not so much a war as an endless standing in line. Injustice is relatively easy to bear. What stings is justice. Wealth, any income that is at least $100 more a year than the income of one's wife's sister's husband. The only really happy folk are married women and single men. I believe that all government is evil and that trying to improve it is largely a waste of time. Every man is his own hell. The capacity of human beings to bore one another seems to be vastly greater than that of any other animal. It is not materialism that is the chief curse of the world, as pastors teach, but idealism. Men get into trouble by taking their visions and hallucinations too seriously. The one permanent emotion of the inferior man is fear, fear of the unknown, the complex, the inexplicable. What he wants above everything else is safety. A cynic is a man who, when he smells flowers, looks around for a coffin. As the arteries grow hard, the heart grows soft. Conscience is the inner voice that warns us that someone might be looking. The chief contribution of Protestantism to human thought is its massive proof that God is a bore. It is even harder for the average ape to believe that he has descended from man. Temptation is a woman's weapon and man's excuse. A good politician is quite as unthinkable as an honest burglar. No matter how happily a woman may be married, it always pleases her to discover that there is a nice man who wishes that she were not. To be in love is merely to be in a state of perceptual anesthesia to mistake an ordinary young woman for a goddess. It is now quite lawful for a Catholic woman to avoid pregnancy by a resort to mathematics, though she is still forbidden to resort to physics or chemistry. Before a man speaks, it is always safe to assume that he is a fool. After he speaks, it is seldom necessary to assume it. The chief value of money lies in the fact that one lives in a world in which it is overestimated. Life is a dead-end street. A Sunday school is a prison in which children do penance for the evil conscience of their parents. 
historian, and unsuccessful novelist. Whenever husband and wife begin to discuss their marriage, they are giving evidence at a coroner's inquest. Morality is the theory that every human act must be either right or wrong, and that 99% sign of them are wrong. Self-respect, the secure feeling that no one, as yet, is suspicious. To die for an idea, it is unquestionably noble, but how much nobler it would be if men died for ideas that were true. Nine times out of ten, in the arts as in life, there is actually no truth to be discovered. There is only error to be exposed. Don't overestimate the decency of the human race. It is hard for the ape to believe he descended from man. Have you ever watched a crab on the shore crawling backward in search of the Atlantic Ocean and missing? That's the way the mind of man operates. Conscience is a mother in law whose visit never ends. Poetry has done enough when it charms, but prose must also convince. I believe in only one thing, liberty, but I do not believe in liberty enough to want to force it upon anyone. It is impossible to imagine the universe run by a wise, just and omnipotent God, but it is quite easy to imagine it run by a board of gods. Man is a beautiful machine that works very badly. Man is always looking for someone to boast to. Woman is always looking for a shoulder to put her head on. I confess I enjoy democracy immensely. It is incomparably idiotic and hence incomparably amusing. Communism, like any other revealed religion, is largely made up of prophecies. Women have simple tastes. They get pleasure out of the conversation of children in arms and men in love. Men have a much better time of it than women. For one thing, they marry later. For another thing, they die earlier. Platitude an idea that is admitted to be true by everyone, and that is not true. Criticism is prejudice made plausible. A national political campaign is better than the best circus ever heard of, with a mass baptism and a couple of hangings thrown in. Every man sees in his relatives, and especially in his cousins, a series of grotesque caricatures of himself. A church is a place in which gentlemen who have never been to heaven brag about it to persons who will never get there. Faith may be defined briefly as an illogical belief in the occurrence of the improbable. The cynics are right nine times out of ten. There is a saying in Baltimore that crabs may be prepared in 50 ways and that all of them are good. Giving every man a vote has no more made men wise and free than Christianity has made them good. I never lecture, not because I am shy or a bad speaker, but simply because I detest the sort of people who go to lectures and don't want to meet them. Let's not burn the universities yet. After all, the damage they do might be worse. A bad man is the sword who weeps every time he speaks of a good woman. Democracy is only a dream. It should be put in the same category as Arcadia, Santa Claus, and Heaven. 
Adultery is the application of democracy to love. Opera in English is, in the main, just about as sensible as baseball in Italian. A man always remembers his first love with special tenderness, but after that he begins to bunch them. The difference between a moral man and a man of honor is that the latter regrets a discreditable act, even when it has worked and he has not been caught. Theology is the effort to explain the unknowable in terms of the not worth knowing. When women kiss it always reminds one of prize fighters shaking hands. In the duel of sex, woman fights from a dread knot and man from an open raft. The common argument that crime is caused by poverty is a kind of slander on the poor. Whenever you hear a man speak of his love for his country, it is a sign that he expects to be paid for it. I write in order to attain that feeling of tension relieved and function achieved which a cow enjoys on giving milk. A professor must have a theory as a dog must have fleas. It is impossible to imagine Goethe or Beethoven being good at billiards or golf. War will never cease until babies begin to come into the world with larger cerebrums and smaller adrenal glands. The theory seems to be that as long as a man is a failure he is one of God's children, but that as soon as he succeeds he is taken over by the devil. The opera is to music what a body house is to a cathedral. The penalty for laughing in a courtroom is six months in jail. If it were not for this penalty, the jury would never hear the evidence. Women always excel men in that sort of wisdom which comes from experience. To be a woman is in itself a terrible experience. I go on working for the same reason that a hen goes on laying eggs. A politician is an animal which can sit on a fence and yet keep both ears to the ground. No man ever quite believes in any other man. One may believe in an idea absolutely, but not in a man. Alimony the ransom that the happy pay to the devil. Unquestionably, there is progress. The average American now pays out twice as much in taxis as he formerly got in wages. A society made up of individuals who were all capable of original thought would probably be unendurable. No matter how long he lives, no man ever becomes as wise as the average woman of 48. Judge for law student who marks his own examination papers. Love is an emotion that is based on an opinion of women that is impossible for those who have had any experience with them. No married man is genuinely happy if he has to drink worse whiskey than he used to drink when he was single. Husbands never become good they merely become proficient. Man weeps to think that he will die so soon. Woman, that she was born so long ago. Temptation is an irresistible force at work on a movable body. The only cure for contempt is cower contempt. Nevertheless, it is even harder for the average ape to believe that he has descended from man. One may no more live in the world without picking up the moral prejudices of the world than one will be able to go to hell without perspiring.
Archbishop High Christian Ecclesiastic of rank superior to that attained by Christ. What men value in this world is not rights but privileges. If women believed in their husbands, they would be a good deal happier and also a good deal more foolish. Time stays, we go. I never smoked a cigarette until I was nine. A prohibitionist is the sort of man one couldn't care to drink with, even if he drank. For centuries, theologians have been explaining the unknowable in terms of the not worth knowing. All government, of course, is against liberty.